Hi, I'm Henry Audubon, the designer of Space Park, a board game from Keymaster Games about exploring the most extraordinary destinations across our galaxy. In this video, I want to show you how to play. So with that, welcome to Space Park. Let's get started by placing Starlight Station down on the table, then shuffle the six remaining destinations and place them to the right of Starlight Station to form a rectangular board. Next, place the rockets on Cosmic Canyon, Celestial Seas, and Lunar Woods. Then place the game's resources alongside the appropriate destinations, Sun Crystals next to Cosmic Canyon, Sea Crystals next to Celestial Seas, and Moon Crystals next to Lunar Woods. Place the Explore Point tokens next to Fusion Falls. Place the Fast Travel Passes in the controller next to Astral Arcade. Then place Scout onto Astral Arcade. Normally you want to have Scout standing up, but for this video I'm going to have Scout laying down just so it's easier to see. Now we're ready to set up the badges, so shuffle the badge deck and deal one out to each player. For this demonstration, we're going to be doing a two-player game. Then place the badge deck on top of Starlight Station and reveal the top three cards of that deck and place them to the left of Starlight Station. Those are the available badges. Finally, we want to give each player a Sun Crystal and give a random player the first player marker. And with setup complete, we can start playing the game. Taking a turn in Space Park is simple. You choose one of the three destinations that have rockets, and then you take the action described at that destination. After you're done taking that action, move that rocket to the next available destination clockwise around the table, skipping over any destinations that already have rockets. That would be the end of your turn, and play proceeds clockwise around the table. So players will spend their turns getting crystals and badges, which they can then earn to get explore points. The goal of the game is to be the player who has the most explore points at the end. Let's start the example with player one's turn. I'm going to be flipping over the cards in the player's hands when it's their turn, just to make it easier to keep track of whose turn it is. So player one has a badge in their hand that requires more sun crystals than they currently have. So they'll spend their first turn visiting Cosmic Canyon to gain two sun crystals and add them to their supply. Then they'll move the rocket on Cosmic Canyon to the next available destination, which happens to be Outpost 13, and that concludes their turn. Player 2 has a badge in hand that requires sea crystals, so they'll get things started by visiting Celestial Seas, which gains them one sea crystal, which they add to their supply. Then they move the rocket to the next destination, which is Fusion Falls in this case. And their turn is complete. Back to Player 1's turn, and they now have enough sun crystals to earn the badge in their hand, so they'll visit Outpost 13, which allows a player to earn one badge from their hand. To earn a badge, you simply pay the cost indicated in the upper left corner of the badge card. Earned badges get placed face up in front of you, and now you've earned the explore point shown at the bottom left corner of the badge, along with any other benefits that the badge may offer. The Pioneer badge that Player 1 has just completed allows the player to gain a sea crystal, so I'll grab a sea crystal and add it to the player's supply. As always, we end the turn by moving the rocket to the next available destination, which would be Lunar Woods, except for the fact that there's already a rocket there, so we skip over it and place the rocket on Astral Arcade. And speaking of Astral Arcade, for Player 2's turn, they're going to visit Astral Arcade, allowing them to take a fast travel pass, gain Scout's controller, and move Scout to any other destination. Fast travel passes are a resource that can be spent at the start of a player's turn to advance any rocket to the next open destination clockwise. And Scout is a robot that's ready to help whichever player currently has the controller. Whenever Scout's destination is visited, the player with the controller can choose to either gain a Sun Crystal or a fast travel pass. Player 2 is going to choose to move Scout over to Celestial Seas. Then the rocket is moved from Astral Arcade to Celestial Seas, and Player 2's turn is done. Player 1 has no badges in hand, and the only way to get more badges is by visiting Starlight Station, and no rocket is there right now, so Player 1 is going to spend their turn visiting Lunar Woods to get a Moon Crystal in case that might be useful in the future. Move that rocket from Lunar Woods down to Astral Arcade, and then it's Player 2's turn. Player 2 is going to visit Celestial Seas again to get another Sea Crystal, but this time Scout is at Celestial Seas. So in addition to getting that Sea Crystal, 
The player with the controller, player two in this case, is also gonna get to choose whether to get a sun crystal or a fast travel pass, and in this case, player two is gonna grab a sun crystal. Then that rocket gets moved from Celestial Seas, but because there's already a rocket on Fusion Falls, we skip over Fusion Falls and place the rocket on Starlight Station. Back to player one's turn, and they're gonna visit Starlight Station, which is where you go to add badges to your hand. When you visit Starlight Station, you draw the top card of the badge deck, and you decide whether you wanna keep that card and put it into your hand, or swap it with one of the three available badges next to Starlight Station and put that badge into your hand instead. In this case, player one is gonna keep the drawn badge, so we just move the rocket from Starlight Station along to Cosmic Canyon, and that concludes player one's turn. Player two's turn now, and this time they're gonna to choose to visit Fusion Falls. At Fusion Falls, you can spend one Sun Crystal to gain an Explore Point token. Explore Point tokens count as one Explore Point toward your total. Then we move that rocket from Fusion Falls to Starlight Station. Player one's turn again, and they're gonna visit Astral Arcade, gaining them a fast travel pass, allowing them to take the controller from player two, and letting them move Scout to another destination in this case to Outpost 13, and the rocket gets moved from Astral Arcade over to Celestial Seas. It's player two's turn and they finally have enough crystals to earn the badge in their hand, but the problem is there's no rocket on Outpost 13, so they're gonna spend their fast travel pass to advance the rocket that's on Cosmic Canyon so that they can visit Outpost 13 and earn their badge. In this case, the badge costs two sea crystals and one sun crystal, and we'll just move that down into player two's space for earned badges. This badge gives player two the benefit of gaining an additional sun crystal whenever they visit Celestial Seas for the rest of the game. Because player two visited a destination that Scout is occupying, the player who has the controller gets to choose to gain a sun crystal or a fast travel pass. And in this case, player one chooses to gain an additional fast travel pass, so now they have two. And finally, we end the turn by moving the rocket from Outpost 13 to Lunar Woods. We're back to Player 1's turn, and they're gonna begin by spending a fast travel pass to advance the rocket from Starlight Station to Cosmic Canyon. Then they're gonna spend their other fast travel pass to advance the rocket from Cosmic Canyon to Outpost 13. So that's right, you can use multiple fast passes in the same turn, and even on different rockets if you choose. Now with the rocket in position, player one is gonna visit Outpost 13 and earn the badge card in their hand by paying the amount of crystals indicated on that badge card. In this case, it's one of each type, a sea crystal, a moon crystal, and a sun crystal. After paying the appropriate cost and earning the badge, player one places that badge with their other earned badge cards. And as shown here, you can stack your earned badges just so long as the explore points and the badge ability are visible to all players at the table. And since a destination that Scout occupies was visited, the player with the controller can choose one of Scout's rewards. And in this case, player one is gonna grab a sun crystal. And finally, the rocket that was at Outpost 13 advances to the next available destination, which because Lunar Woods is blocked by another rocket, ends up being Astral Arcade. On player two's turn, they're gonna visit Celestial Seas, gaining not only a sea crystal, but also a sun crystal because of the ability on the badge they earned last turn and we advance the rocket from Celestial Seas to Fusion Falls. That concludes player two's turn, and here we're gonna skip ahead to the final round of play so that you can see how the game ends and also how endgame scoring works. Here we're picking up near the end of the game on player one's turn. Player one has 19 explore points, and when a player reaches 20 explore points, that triggers the final round of play. So player one is gonna visit Fusion Falls, spending a single Sun Crystal to gain an Explore Point, pushing them over the threshold to 20 Explore Points. And that rocket will move from Fusion Falls, skipping over Starlight Station and Cosmic Canyon to reach Outpost 13. Player one reaching 20 Explore Points triggers the final round of play. And since player one has the first player marker, we know that each of the other players in the game get a chance to take one final turn. Player two begins their turn with 18 explore points. Luckily, they have a moon crystal to pay for the only badge in their hand, a badge which just happens to be worth three explore points. So player two can visit Outpost 13, earning the badge in their hand, putting them up to 21 explore points, more than any other player in the game, making player two the winner. There you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of Space Park. 
What you just saw was a two-player game, but Space Park can also be played with three or four players, and there's even a solo mode. So there's many ways to enjoy the galaxy. Thanks for watching.